to do kind of um, a pretty quick um, video of how to make a side dish. We're going to make cheesy potatoes. For those that do not know what potatoes are, they are cauliflower um, and a special ingredient that I'm going to tell you about. Um, kind of like a kickoff version of mashed potatoes but with cauliflower to make it a little bit more healthy. Um, well actually, you know what, I'm not going to use the word more healthy. I'm going to say that they're not going to have as many carbs. Um, and if you're a trim healthy mama or someone that's just trying to be more health conscious, sometimes having a side that doesn't have as much carbs on it is going to be better for your diet. If you're a trim healthy mama, you're typically separating your carbs and your fats and anchoring everything in protein. So sometimes if you have a fats dinner, you don't necessarily want to mix it with a heavy mashed potato carbohydrate. So having potatoes is a, a healthy alternative that's not going to spike your blood sugar with adding carbs to it. So uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you what I'll be using. I'm using 16 ounces of cauliflower and one cup of okra. That's kind of my special ingredient. Um, I boiled them down um, with some water and then drained the water out and they're nice and soft and tender. Um, I have a cup of cheese. We will be using a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of minced garlic, and some dashes of mineral salt. We will be using clarified G. This stuff is very healthy for you, very good for you. Um, you don't have to be afraid of fats. Um, Especially with the G, the G, it's lactose and casein free um, because with the clarification process, it takes out the water and the, the milk solids, so you're left with just some rich, rich fats that are good for you. Um, we will be using a half a cup of almond milk, and finally, we'll be using sunflower lecithin. Lecithin is great for your liver and for your heart. As, and brain power, it's great for some brain power. And then also it's great for you, you breastfeeding moms. TMI, but this stuff is so good to keep your milk flowing um, and to keep kind of those plug ducts, um, to not have plug ducts. Um, so let's get going. I already boiled my cauliflower and my okra, so I'm gonna put them in my blender. I got a really sweet deal last week at Target, in the middle of winter at Target, for a new Ninja Blender. And I haven't used it a ton yet, but I'm thinking it is 100% totally worth it. It is the two times that I've used it, I have been very close with it. So we have my okra and my cauliflower in here. It's pretty much just put all the ingredients in there. We're going to put a cup of cheese a teaspoon of onion, a teaspoon of garlic. I should have had this ready to go so it didn't, I didn't look so, I don't look so unprofessional and unprepared. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing, but my minced garlic does not open, so I had to cut it open so I can pour it. Pretty redneck of me, but you do what you gotta do. We're gonna use a couple twirls of mineral salt. We are using a tablespoon of ghee. Look at that. Just looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Delicious. We will be using a quarter teaspoon of the sunflower. Really hoping I didn't just wake up my baby. <laughs> and then finally, that half cup of almond milk. Now, you can go as much as a cup of almond milk if you so choose. Sometimes you need to add more because your blender doesn't quite blend it up as smoothly. Um, I like to start with the half cup and add more if needed. So I'm gonna give this a twirl and I'll show you what it's gonna look like at the end. And we'll be done. Now I like 
my potatoes, my cheesy potatoes, very mashed up. Let's give them a check on them. I want them even more mashed up than that. Alternative to mashed potatoes.